The Pope's Exorcist was directed by Julius Avery and is a supernatural horror film featuring demons, child possession, the struggle between good and evil, and Russell Crowe on a Vespa. When an American family moves to Spain, the youngest family member, a 12-year-old boy, starts exhibiting concerning and terrifying behaviour and they're led to believe he's being possessed by a demon. The incident is escalated to the Pope who assigns his lead exorcist, Father Gabriel Amorth, to the case to investigate. During his visit, Father Amorth uncovers a centuries-old conspiracy that the Vatican has attempted to keep hidden. The Pope's Exorcist is a fictional tale based on the memoirs of Father Amorth who was a real person and was indeed the chief exorcist of the Vatican. There's actually a 2017 documentary about him called The Devil and Father Amorth, which was directed by William Friedkin, which is the same director as The Exorcist, but the documentary was not received well by audiences and critics alike. This film also seems to be varied in terms of how audiences and critics have received the film with some really enjoying it and some not so much. Unfortunately, I fall into the latter camp. This film really wasn't for me and that's coming from someone who generally really likes films about exorcisms and possession. There was just multiple issues that I had with it, which I'll delve into deeper shortly. In terms of cast and performances, the film stars Russell Crowe as the straight shooting and very cheeky Father Gabriel Amorth. Russell Crowe was actually a lot of fun to watch in this role and he's a clear standout. The tone of the film is mostly serious, but there's moments of levity throughout provided mostly by Russell Crowe's character and he's able to jump between these shifts of tone with ease. Father Amorth is Italian, so Russell Crowe is also affecting an accent throughout the film, which I thought he did a good job, although I did see online a lot of people slamming it, but I thought it was fine, but what do I know? Alongside Russell Crowe, we have Daniel Zavado playing Father Esquibel, who's a young priest that's initially called to the family to help, but then later stays on to assist Father Amorth. I thought he did a good job playing a devout but flawed priest slash sidekick to Russell Crowe. Lastly, we have the family unit consisting of recently widowed single mother Julia, played by Alex Esso, her grungy teenage daughter Amy, played by Laurel Marsden, and the youngest family member, recently non-verbal 12-year-old Henry, played by, and I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce this, Hida de Souza Faini. Unfortunately, this is where some of my criticisms begin. To be honest, I found the performances of the family members to be so-so. I like the teenage daughter, the mother, I could really, I, I could take or leave, and the son... I really hate to say it, but I just couldn't take him seriously. During the film, I just felt like cringing every time the possessed version of Henry was on screen. And initially I just wrote it off as bad acting. However, after thinking about it further while writing this review, I actually just think he was done a massive disservice by the decision to put over such a deep, commanding, almost comical voice over the top of his own voice when he's being possessed by the demon. Bring me the priest. The voice of the demon is Ralph Innocent, who you may know from The Witch. Um, that's where I know him from. And his voice is just so, so deep. Every time he was on screen with this crazy voice coming out of him it just really felt it felt comical honestly well to me anyway and I that just takes away so much from the film when it's meant to be scary it's this possessed child he has this demon inside of him and all I could do was just cringe and just it just felt off it just didn't it didn't fit I assume that they did this for impact, but it just didn't work for me. In addition to this, there's an unnecessary amount of CGI. And when I say unnecessary, I mean unnecessary. For example, there's a scene where someone vomits blood and they use CGI. Like it wasn't even an ungodly amount of vomit or blood. It honestly could have just been done by the actor spitting out fake blood from their mouth and it would have had a better 
impact for me anyway, because CGI kind of takes me out of a film. Like, I don't know why, why, why you CGI for that? It's so heavy handed on the CGI and it severely cheapens the film. Another example, which made me roll my eyes so hard that they nearly got stuck at the back of my head was a moment when Russell Crowe's character shines a light into Henry's eyes and a pair of demon eyes are looking back at him. It just took me so out of the film. I, I just think it was just so, it was not good. In terms of the plot, despite some of the issues I had with some of the performances and the overuse of CGI, I actually enjoyed the storyline for about three quarters of the film. Sure, it was cheesy and predictable, but I did find it entertaining. That's before it took a sharp left turn into what the fuck land and not in a good way. To avoid giving anything away, let's just say that this film kind of feels like a 2000s supernatural horror film and again, not in a good way. I'm pretty forgiving of 2000s horror. I actually have quite a fondness for that era despite the pain points, but this film doesn't have enough redeeming qualities to make it endearing. There were parts of this film that just had no rhyme or reason and were just put in there for effect. And along with the cheesy CGI, it just felt like I was back in 2005 again. I feel like that we've come to expect a lot more from our horror films in this day and age. And unfortunately, this just didn't cut it. That being said, there were some cool moments and imagery and the humor in it was really effective. I also appreciated the impressive setting and set design and want to point out the stirring atmospheric score by Jed Kozel, which was chef's kiss. Overall, I really wasn't a fan of The Pope's Exorcist. It was a bit of a hot mess in my opinion. However, if you're forgiving of heavy-handed CGI and don't mind some over-the-top wild sequences that take place for little to no logical reason, you may enjoy this. Don't just take my word for it. Just look at the 82% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Although I had a lot of gripes with it, Russell Crowe was a delight to watch in this role and definitely was the highlight of the film but ultimately it just wasn't my cup of tea. I gave The Pope's Exorcist a three out of 10. I hope you liked my review. Unfortunately, this film really wasn't my type of film, but let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Did you really enjoy it? Like 82% of audiences on Rotten Tomatoes. Let me know what you liked about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if films like this interest you, I do have a recommendation called Deliver Us From Evil. It stars Eric Banner and it's very cheesy and I guess it's not the best film, but I remember watching it in the theater and loving it so much when I first watched it. I think I actually watched it twice in the theaters. So it's super entertaining. And yeah, if this is your jam, I'd check that one out. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.